Hey everyone, it's Matt. So I think it has been a long time, <laughs> excuse you, since I have been on video. And so what better way to welcome myself back than to do something really reckless and stupid, which is why today I am going to be attempting the Pocky One Chip Challenge. Now, if you are not familiar with this, this is a very spicy tortilla chip made with uh, ghost peppers, uh, scorpion peppers, reaper peppers. It's uh, unpleasant, and I believe you're supposed to eat the whole thing at once and then see how long you can go without water and things like that. A little bit about my personal history with spice. Um, Probably a good 10 to 15 years ago, the state fair had chocolate covered jalapenos. And to this day, it is the worst thing I have ever put in my mouth. And then in my freshman year of college, I signed up for a hot pepper eating contest. Uh, the peppers were Serrano peppers, which I believe are like medium in the scale of spicy to extreme and I made it through two before I started crying and sweating and puking so all that to say I think this is going to go really well so <laughs> I have 1.25 liters of water I have some bread I have some paper towels an actual towel the classic Matt Shaw cure diet coke Let's see how bad this truly is. So, here we go. Here's the chip. All right, so the rules are to eat the entire chip, show your tongue, because I believe it turns your tongue blue, and then wait as long as possible before drinking or eating anything. And then we've got a little scale here of how long it takes you to wait uh, before eating or drinking anything. If, if you're one minute, you're powerless. 10 minutes, you're powerful. 30 minutes, you're supercharged. One hour, you're invincible. I doubt I will make it past 10 seconds even. So let's do this. Okay, all right. Uh, oh no, some of it's falling off and my fingers are turning colors. All right, uh, here goes nothing. Why? Why would someone do this? Oh, God.
See, it's fine. And then I burp and then it just all comes screaming back. Oh. Okay, so besides some burning around my face because I didn't wash my hands like an idiot, I think I survived. That was incredibly unpleasant. I thought it wasn't bad, and then all of a sudden it was. Um, so, well, the good news is my sinuses will never be clogged again. Oh, so it has been an hour, and if I look like shit, that is because uh, after the 10 or 15 minutes of hell, everything was totally fine, and <clears throat> I uh, had <laughs> the entire bottle of Diet Coke, most of this one and a half liter bottle of water, and then I also had dinner because I thought that that would help my stomach and uh, it felt like it was in knots and going on a very icky roller coaster and I just vomited many, many, many times, which nobody wants to see or hear or experience. So uh, I... I'm going to go ahead and uh, give this a pass and say I am not sure how I feel about uh, crushing the one chip challenge. Hopefully you got some enjoyment out of it. I know I didn't. You can find uh, the Pocky One Chip Challenge at places like Cub Foods. Uh, I think they have them at Speedways. I think if you just Google Pocky One Chip Challenge, uh, you can go to the website and find locations where they're sold near you, should you decide to do this. But again, I don't know why you would. So thanks for watching me suffer. <laughs> And until next time, tortilla chip made of, I don't know, ghost peppers and all that kind of stuff. Can you not? Hi, honey. <laughs>